I'm Amanda Taylor from Guide for Geek Moms, and thank you both for joining me. I'd like to start off with <laughs> so I'd like to start off with VD and ask you, like, what drew you to be part of the film and you know the Blues Clues family? Were you a fan of the show? I wasn't a, a, a fan of the show in that I didn't grow up with it, but I was a fan of the show in that I was fully aware of it, and I was always very impressed with it. And I always loved the uh, energy of it and the the whole vibe of it. I've always loved it. And and so when it, when I had the chance to kind of attach myself to it, I was super enthusiastic about it. And the the the, the script, you know, you get the script and you you don't know what the script is actually going to be. But then when the, when I actually read the script, I thought, well, this is exactly what I hoped it would be. Something that felt full of joy and full of um, uh, kind of a strong sense of what's not just entertaining, but useful for kids. I agree, I agree. And uh, Brianna, yes. so uh, Rainbow Puppy, right? She's had such a warm welcoming. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was even watching the screener and my three-year-old nephew was visiting and saw her and was like, I love Rainbow Puppy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So what's it been like for you, you know, the reception you've gotten since, you know, Rainbow Puppy first debuted? Yeah, well, this is such a cool question because I don't have too many young ones around me, but I have people my age around me and we grew up with those <laughs> clothes. So my friends have freaked out. They, they love it. And I feel like I'm just kind of like, I'm doing my job and doing my thing. But sometimes like my friends will repost things like, oh my gosh, I love and it's just like it's through the roof. The 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 would it be reception of everything <laughs> has been pretty amazing. And I think it's from all ages, which has been the really unique thing about it. Um, and I don't know if I expected that at first, but once I was in it, I was like, okay, this is actually a Blue's Clues family. Like all ages are included, and that's why I think the movie is perfect because it is for everyone in the family. It's not just for the little ones. So they'll get something out of it, and you will too in a completely different way. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. But yes, I mean, I enjoyed it just as much as him. So I loved it. Well, both of you had a lot of screen time and filming together, right? So what was that like filming, especially when one of you is an animated character? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it is. It's super. It's it's not what a lot of people think it is. In fact, we just met like a half an hour ago for the first time. Actually. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really? So you don't run like lines together? Anything? No. 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 And, and 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 the director plays a huge role in acting as a kind of go between between our performances and what the director wants. He, in this case, wanted uh, you know uh, knows how he wants the characters to respond to each other. Yeah. So guides you through the whole process, line by line and moment by moment. And then um, Brianna goes into a studio once that's all kind of laid down and edited and everything and 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 uh, um, specifies her performance to kind of make sure that it 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 makes sense that it that yeah. it, that it is real that it feels real. So I'm there with a kind of series of different size dolls. Okay. They're stuffed animals. I think stuffed teddy bear, but they have to use different sizes because. There's this one who is this big in the shot, whether the shot is a big, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the different relative sizes or whatever. Yeah. And um, I'm relying on the director's um, uh, uh, being able to articulate whether um, a rainbow puppy is um, anxious to a, a certain level or how how anxious mm -hmm. she is or how, how down in the dumps she might be. Right. Um, and, and then I know how to kind of um respond mm -hmm. yeah and then likewise for me because if he didn't do his performance as beautifully as he did then uh I don't really know what I would have done to be honest I don't think it would have matched very well um and it really does feel like like I mean <laughs> you didn't even know like no. it's a really good way of meshing the two and I think just the experience of it because as actors you're usually playing off of each other so um not having that element there just shows to how well it was produced and put together and edited and everything um and then you know being in the studio by myself I kind of you try one thing and they're like okay well maybe like he meant it like this you're like oh oh my gosh okay got it D this way then so you have to like put it together 
in your own way and just really use your imagination. But it works. It clearly works. It totally <laughs> did. I loved it. Really. I, I watched it twice. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, I think I'm out of time. So thank you again for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.